Problem number two, multiply using a diagram. Find three times two fifths, write the product in lowest terms. So, um, three times two fifths, again, multiplication is just repeated addition. So if we're multiplying two fifths by three, that means we have three of these that we're adding together. One, two, and three. Model the fractions using a number line. That's gonna be our diagram. So in this case, our denominator is five, that's the bottom number. So you need five equal parts between each whole number. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five sections between each number. That's not five ticks between each number. You'll notice that there's only four ticks between zero and one. But four ticks makes five sections, and it's the five sections that we're worried about. So when you do that, and you're adding two-fifths three times, you start at zero, two-fifths is the equivalent of two jump, or two spaces. So that's one. Another leap of two spaces is two, and then a third leap is three. So you're landing right there, which is one, two, three, four, five, six fifths. Each space is the size of one fifth, so if it takes six of them to get to where you're going, then you have six fifths. You could draw this out using fraction strips or rectangles, just like we did before, and two fifths, two fifths, and two fifths, all the shaded ones clumped together to make six fifths. You can do it that way. Um, or you can do a number line as well. It's a little less drawing to use a number line. It might be a little more efficient. But that's the process. And now you get to practice number lines using the show you know. Give it a go.